Have you ever wanted to send emails directly from Google Sheets? In today's video, I'm going to show you how to put together a script that will take data from your Google Sheet and then it will send that email directly from Google Sheets directly to their inbox. So let's go ahead and jump into the app script and I'll walk through some of the other options that I have available. So I'm just going to call this send emails and then we'll call this one send email. And then what we need to do is get our email to our subject and our email body into here and then send that out. So we're going to go ahead and get that spreadsheet and I'm going to assign it to SS. And then I'm going to get that sheet or that tab that we're using. And I'm going to do get sheet by name. I believe I just called it email. And then all we have to do is get those things. So email two is sheet.getrange. And this would be C5 and then C7 and C9. Get value. And then I'm just going to copy and paste these for our subject. And this is seven and nine. And email body. All right, we're almost done. So all we need to do now is mail app and send email. I'm going to use these brackets and then we're going to do two and that email to subject will be subject. And then finally, HTML body will be our email body. And believe it or not, that is all we need for the script. I'm going to go ahead and save this. And then one thing I'm going to do just to make this easier is I'm going to add a little menu so we can run it from the Google Sheet instead of from here. And so we're just going to do on open. And then we'll get the spreadsheet UI. And that's the user interface. And then through there we can create a menu and we'll just call this script menu. Add an item and this will be send email. And then our function name is send email. Finally, add the UI and that menu is done. So now we can go ahead and authorize this. So we could do it two ways. One, we could refresh this and then run that from there. But I'm just going to do it from here. I'm going to select this on open and then hit run. And we just need to authorize this to give it access to both the Goo sheet and to the sending email. So I'm going to go ahead and do this. And this is just Google's warning because they did not make the app. Obviously, if you just program this, then this will be safe for you. And so allow. And now that part's done. Now we can just go back to here. Here's a script menu. And so let's go ahead and just send a test email. And if we go here, we can see that alert, just that fact that we authorized that email. And then here is the email we just sent. All right, so that is it as far as sending the email goes. And then the rest of it here is just about how to sync this up to other data in your sheet. So for example, the email to, I just have it linked to here, but you could just type this in directly as well. You don't have to tie it to a cell reference. And then here I'm just using these ampersands and these double quotes to put together a string. So notice I start with equals. And so I'll just build this one from scratch. So equals double quotes, and we can say, hey, and then end that. And we're basically escaping the string to add other things. So I can just click on this ampersand again, and then maybe we want a comma. Can't wait to connect. Or we could add, I can't wait to connect if you like a little more proper English. And then now you can just see if we change these, it automatically changes what shows up in there. So if we change this to Jim, Jim Halpert, then it changes that there as well. And so you can change any of these and it changes those in there. So this one's a little bit more in depth, as you can see here. And the one thing you'll notice here is I have these BR tags. And what this is, is HTML tags. So the way I set script is that you can actually include HTML in this email body. So BR tags are just a new line. And you can do things like strong and that does bold. You can do you can do links like this. And this would be, let's say, www.google.com. 
And so you could put that in here as well. And so let me just do that. And then the only thing here is we need to add one more double quote just so that will show up correctly. And so now you can see that. And let's go ahead and send this email again and make sure that link came through. And there you can see that link. So you could change this to, for example, Google link, send again, and there it's Google link. All right, so that is it for today's video. Make sure to check out the other videos on our channel for more tutorials on both Google Sheets and AppScript. And as always, have a great day.